Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It is time for experiment number two with the million dollar rod. So before I tell you about it, before I tell you what has changed and what I'm doing differently and where I'm at and what I'm fishing for and all that, please do me a favor, hit the like, subscribe, notify bell if you haven't yet. Fish, first of all, still Arctic char. I'm gonna keep it Arctic char this time. Now my next fish is gonna be something different just because I'm gonna to need to change the scenery. I made about 10,000, cause I had about 1,700. So I made, after I bought the rod, I made about 10,000 gold or 10,000 in game currency credits, I guess you could say. From just Arctic char and brown trout to get one full level on this fairest of them all fishing pole. We finally got it. Our 61st from the last video. This is video number two of this series. Our 61st Arctic Charg finally gave us 1%. Now I, that was the last one I've caught with this pole. For part two, for experiment number two, let's say I change the line. I drop it down, dropping it down a couple pounds here, okay? on the line. So maybe each fish gives a little bit more XP because I'm using a little bit over two pounds less line, but it does give me more line. So maybe I don't get spooled. And if I can't tell a noticeable difference in how hard it is to catch them, and let's say it takes 40 Arctic char instead of 60. Now that's one, but here's another variable that we have to consider. When you're leveling, it's easy to go from level one. I'm talking about leveling your character, okay? When you're leveling your character, it's easy to go from level one to level two because it doesn't take much XP. But each level, there's more and more XP required. Is it that way with rods and reels? Or is it the same? Like, is it gonna take longer? If I were to not change anything and keep using the 13 pound line that I was using before, is it going to take more than 61 Arctic short? Now, now of course, if we get lucky and catch more golds and diamonds, that's going to shorten things. But what I'm saying is, is going from, going from zero to 1% on the rod, the same amount of XP as going from 1% to 2%, or is it gradually going to increase like our players level does? You see what I'm saying? Because then if it's not an equal amount said of said XP, then it's gonna take more and more fish no matter what you do in between each level. Like to master this thing from 99%, let's imagine I was sitting on 99% on this rod. To go from 99% to 100%, is that gonna be the same amount of XP as from going to zero to 1% or is it staggered to where each level increasingly takes more XP to level it? That's the case guys. This thing already, even if it was the same amount of XP, like from zero to one's the same as 99 to 100, it's still going, it took 61 Arctic char slash brown trout to get 1%. So it, it would take 6,100 Arctic char and brown trout, basically. If it were the same, roughly, roughly. I mean, you're going to get lucky and get diamonds and golds and stuff, but. I didn't get any diamonds and it took 61. I did get a few golds. But anyway, love the experiments. It's what I do. Let's first of all see if there's a big drastic change. And I think what I'm gonna do, yeah, it's 1119. I'm gonna get me a fresh map and we're gonna start. All right, guys, here we go on a fresh map, 603. 11 pound line test. Fish number one coming up. We have caught 61, so this would be fish number 62 um, with this current setup. Well, this would be this would be number one. Right, we got to start. This is number one. We'll be back when we're getting our first bite, guys. Oh, here we go, getting some now. This would be fish number one. Well, we are using the 11 pound line, so it's gonna be a learning curve. It's 50% drag, 
that made sherry red because I had it on 60 or 65 percent drag. But what size fish is this? Let's look. That's a 9.51, 133 XP. Well, this one's giving me a good fight. I hope it weighs more than nine and a half pounds. Because there is a balance. You have to, you can't go so low that it's going to take you 30 minutes to catch your fish. You know, I mean, you want good XP, but you don't want to be fighting them all day either. Let's see what we got here. That's a 13.97 pounder. That's pretty good. 262 XP there. Good deal. All right, I've been fighting this guy for a while. This type of fight on the 13 pound line would have been a gold. So if this isn't a gold, I might try to put a bigger reel on and see if that helps. I don't know if it will or not, and I don't know how much it will impede the XP. I want to pay attention to the XP that I get on this one. Because right now I'm using a 13 pound max drag reel with an 11 pound braided line. I want to see the XP. I don't know if the reel affects XP or if it's just the line. But there is a good looking Arctic char swimming right through there too right there that we're not even hooked up to but anyway let's uh, get this guy in pay attention to the xp and then i'm going to probably swap reels out to see if that helps and see if it affects the xp at all so that's not even a gold that was a big fight for a 14.25 pound fish right there I do like the Cameroon, the 17 pound max drag reel from Spain. I do like it the best on this uh, golden rod. It seems like it's way easier to get the fish in. Fish that I was having trouble out of, I seem, seems like I can just yank them in now. Now I've had to adjust my drag to 30% versus 50 and 60%. I catch most of them now around that, as you can see here, like there's 35%, but it just seems a little bit stronger real and it's not affecting, it's not affecting my XP is the thing I like about it the most. So this is the, the sweet setup, I think. Okay, this thing's huge. It is uh, probably a diamond. It's going crazy. I have fought this thing for a while. This has been a battle. I think it is a diamond. This is fish 22, I think. Yeah, that's a diamond. Oh, 354 XP on that one. Oh boy. Still didn't do anything for that. So we are looking at right now just to make sure. Okay, that was 21, that's 22. Okay, there's the first fish. We've caught 22 on this new, going from 1% to 2% experiment. At the end of the day, I have to keep from getting spooled. So there's only, I can only cast here, basically. Or I'm going to get spooled. Or if I hook into a diamond, I'm going to get spooled. That one almost had me. He had me out past 260, but I think he started hitting against the bank here. And if he could have kept going around this way, he would have spooled me and snapped my line. We've been fighting this one for a while. I think this one's just going to be a gold. But still. Nice fish. Getting up around 30. I'm hoping that this is going to take fewer fish with the 11 pound braid. There's a gold 
17.15 pound, see 305 XP for a 17 pound fish. That's the beauty of dropping that line down a little bit. Still on 1%, let's see how many we've caught. Right there was the first one caught, easy to see because right after the diamond. So we have caught 10, uh, 30. We have caught 30 going from 1% to 2%. Uh, we've caught 91 overall fish, but just counting from 1% to 2%, we've caught exactly 30. So I'm hoping that fewer than 61 with this braided line and that will tell us that you get that you'll level it quicker 11 pound break versus the 13. all right we've been fighting this dude for a while hope it's a gold i don't think it's a diamond we have been fighting him for a while and we're getting close to that. We have to be getting close to 2%. We're past 50 fish. It only took 61. Yeah, that's an 18.04 pound gold for 319 XP. So let's let's take a look at where we're at. Let's see. Here, still says 1%. Let's see. It's a nice 16.72 pound gold, 296 XP. Still on 1%. All right, guys. So weird scenario here. Exactly 61 fish later. This is the 61st fish right here. The 7.93 silver Arctic char, which is probably the smallest fish I've caught this whole time I've been doing this. Uh, as you can see right there, there's four golds. I caught a diamond on this run as well. And that's just on this page. There's 40 fish that you don't see on this screen. But 61 fish both rounds. Now, is it per fish? I mean, it's fine. I find that odd. 61 exactly. Now, it's a combination of Arctic char and brown trout. But we're going to have to see what happens between 2 and 3% now. Is it always going to be the 61st fish? Is the XP that we're seeing going toward our character and doesn't matter toward the pole? Is it just per fish? Now I'm going to have to test this on a different fish and see what we come up with. I wonder if I just go and catch 61 smallmouth or 61 largemouth or a combination of them if it'll level. Who knows how this thing's going to work? That's why we experiment. And I do I do want to add that if I hadn't had that braided line on, here's what I'm talking about. If I hadn't had this 11.02 pound braided line, I know 100% without a doubt, I would not have gotten that diamond in because it took me out past, I would have spooled and broke. I uh, fought that thing forever. And I had just enough extra line for it to go against the bank and tire out eventually. It would have broken my line. We're going to switch it up on the next uh, video, the third installment of this series. I even thought about Xander. I tell you, you can reel in an 18 pound brown trout so much quicker. You can pretty much just yank them in and they're better XP. Um, so I loved it when I hooked them around. I really did. They come in a lot easier. They do not fight like a char. A char fights hard. I can't remember how exactly how much Xander fight. So I may, you know, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to target some fish in that range, 20, 25 pound range. I would love to do brown trout, but those suckers get up in the forties. Really, really high. The asp would be another one it all depends on how hard these fish y'all let me know in the comments out of the asp the walleye could we dare to go after brown trout some of them get pretty big anyway guys that's the plan my name is Darth sloan thank you so much for watching 
Uh, if you're wanting to learn about that million dollar pole, I'm going to start a series here. We're going to do multiple videos on this thing. Uh, in the end, I hope to know exactly how many fish that it took. So I probably won't fish with this pole much online unless I somehow can keep up with the amount of fish that I catch. There's, I'll probably figure something out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell, grab a cousin, aunt, uncle, first cousin once removed, tame a wild beast, you know, how to use a keyboard and, and drop that sub and turn that notify bell on. Guys, it's been a blast. I'm having fun. This has renewed my, you know, I still got to get, I still got a handful of guides to make, but this is fun too. 61. 61 seems to be the magic number. Let's see if that applies to any other fish. You guys, we'll catch you in the next video.